Hello guys, Chris here. Welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce GTX 1660 Ti 6GB GPU in slow field. <laughs> this one is the Zotac Amp Edition version of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Ups GPU Z. And finally, over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D and 32GB of RAM. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's go over the settings first. First, I'm starting at 1080p resolution using the low settings and 100% resolution scale without any upscaling here. No way. No way. It's actually going to drop, guys, from 30 FPS. I think. Look at that. 31, 32. Oh, my God. So in, in more intensive scenarios than this one, it's going to drop from 30. No way this is that much slower than the RX 6600. Holy crap. To think that people were actually choosing this GPU sometimes over the RX 6600. I've seen a lot of comments like that saying, oh, I'm gonna go with Nvidia because it's much better AMD, I don't trust them. There is no way this is performing as it's supposed to. I'm gonna restart the game, <laughs> just to make sure. Sometimes this game is a bit weird with the settings and stuff. And nope, it's exactly the same. It is getting the exact FPS that it's supposed to be getting, guys. Oh my god. But it makes sense because this is actually slower than the GTX 1070 Ti, which is the uh, minimum requirements GPU. So yeah, of course the 1660 Ti can't really get 30 plus all of the time at low settings in 1080p resolution with 100% resolution scale like native res. The low settings preset defaults to 50% resolution scale, which looks absolutely awful. And at that point, obviously the 1660 Ti won't have a problem, but... Uh, yeah, with native 1080p low settings, this is not delivering 30 plus all of the time. Like, I, I was expecting a lot better here, like 40 to 50 most of the time. But nope, <laughs> that's not what we get. Let's set the sharpening to 69% right here and set FSR2 to 66%, which is FSR2 quality. And like this, hopefully it's going to save the little 1660 Ti. It's getting 40s, low 40s. Yeah, I guess that means that we're going to see 30 plus FPS finally all of the time. It's still does look acceptable i will say especially on a 1080p monitor a smaller monitor it's gonna look okay with fsr2 set to 66 percent this is one of the games where fsr2 actually looks the best it's not the best looking game with fsr but uh, yeah there are games out there that look a lot worse than this one does and i was actually impressed with the 50 percent scaling at first when i first started the game um, because it did not look anywhere near 540p, which is 50% of 1080p. So yeah, if you have the GTX 1660 Ti or 1660 Super, the Super is going to be 5% slower than this, uh, I am going to test that one as well. I have it now in my collection, so it will come. You can play Starfield with 30 FPS locked at uh, 1080p low settings, 66% resolution scale. That's insane. When I bought this GPU in 2019, when it released, I was playing games comfortably at 1440p medium to high settings. And now, four years later, it can't even handle this game at 1080p low settings. Clearly, it needs some optimization patches. I, I told you that there wasn't going to be a, a day one patch, by the way. <laughs> There clearly wasn't, uh, not even an update, you know, at least I didn't notice it, so yeah, <laughs> but at least it does not stutter. So maybe they, they spent the entire year making the game not stutter whatsoever, so it's actually playable with 30 something frames per second, or 30 plus right here. And remember, once again, this is one of the most intensive areas in the entire game, so the FPS will differ in different planets, of course. I found you, Bob! I'm gonna kill you, bastard! There we go! <laughs> Wait, does he have a med pack? Yes! See, it was definitely Bob. He, he's carrying a med pack because he wants to, to revive himself or heal himself whenever I shoot at him. He knew! He knew I was coming for him. Finally, we found that bastard. But see, it, it's, it's not a terrible experience. It's seeable. You know, it's getting okay FPS, it's playable for a single-player title, I believe. It's just a very underwhelming experience for what the card is, you know. But at the same time, it's below minimum requirements, so it makes sense that 
you need to sacrifice quality quite a bit. But again, I feel bad for those people who are buying this card instead of the RX 6600. Not to play this game specifically, but uh, the 6600 beats this in all of the games, not only in this one. And in this one, it beats it by a lot because it's an AMD sponsored title. But uh, yeah, <laughs> basically, there is no game where this wins versus the 6600, I think. <laughs> Yet people were there like, oh, Nvidia is. is way better. Anyway, obviously I'm not gonna test like medium settings since this was already pretty crappy. I'm gonna go ahead and try like 50% resolution scale first just to see like the best case scenario at 1080p resolution. Well, best case in terms of FPS, not best case in terms of quality uh, to performance ratio. I think you should definitely go with... Oh, there we go. You definitely go with the settings that we just used, the low with 66% FSR2. It's going to look okay, it's going to play alright, it's going to be playable above everything else. Uh, and yeah, you can enjoy, you can actually enjoy the game like that. Like this, it's just a blurry mess, it's super soft, the image, and I, I don't recommend it. It's pixelated as well, if you stop, everything stops being soft and you can actually count the pixels in some parts of the image, so... I don't like it. And wow, it's actually getting that weird effect around the trees that we saw with DLSS frame generation, or at least I first noticed it with DLSS frame generation, and I thought it was a problem with the mod, but apparently no, FSR2 still does that. Now I'm gonna do 80% resolution scale with FSR2. This looks very similar to native resolution because of the sharpening. Um, and it's in the 30s. Hopefully it's gonna stay above 30 FPS the entire time. If you're aiming for that 30 FPS locked experience, I think I would go with these settings. This looks a little bit better than quality FSR2 or 66%. What? Hello? A very tell. Do you know where Bob is? Actually, he's, he's still dead over there. Yes, he is, my friends. He hasn't disappeared. Bob is still here. I know that he's faking it because he's going to be back in the next video, but uh, yeah, at least we got rid of him for the time being. Yeah, I guess it's safe to say that it won't drop from 30 frames per second 99% of the time, at least. There are a couple of scenarios where it gets way more intensive than this. For example, the waterfall. I just remembered the waterfall that we checked out with the RTX 3070. This direction, this is it, guys. This is the waterfall. Look at the FPS dropping now. Oh, boy. Yep. Okay, 28. See, and the smoke kind of follows you. It's like static over there. I am moving to the right, as you can see. I'm going in that direction, but it's 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 still there. <laughs> it's so weird. It, it literally looks unfinished. Granted, not a lot of people are gonna come here, but still, this is pretty weird. <laughs> Should we test it at 720p? Honestly, if you have a 1660 Ti, you're probably used to playing at 1080p, and it was already playable with FSR, so I wouldn't recommend dropping it down to 720. But if you have a really small monitor, well, maybe this is the way. I'm gonna turn off upscaling, and this is gonna be native 720p res. All right, here we go. Native 720p looks super blurry, su super soft, uh, but it is getting closer to what the 6600 got at 1080p native resolution. Actually, that card was even faster at 1080p because I don't think it drops from 50 frames per second, maybe to like 49 in worst case scenario. But yeah, this one is constantly in the 40s right now. So a 1660 Ti at 720p in Starfield is worse than a 6600 at 1080p. And again, I know that performance, raw performance-wise, the 6600 is quite a bit better than this card in all games. But I'm just making this comparison because, again, I've seen at least 15 comments saying that they were going to buy this card instead of the RX 6600. This is the performance that I thought we'd get at 1080p with this card. 720p is a much lower resolution, dude. Holy Jesus. Okay, let, let's enable some CAS, though. This is sharpening, because we definitely need it at 720p resolution. Doesn't affect FPS by much. You're going to see like one or two less frames per second using CAS. And it does make the game look a little bit better, although... 
Well, it's 720p, so of course it's going to be pixelated. I, I think I prefer this. It has a little bit more noise as well in the image than native resolution. Yeah, look at that when moving. But I think I prefer this to the softness. At least you, you can get it a little bit more detail like this. But lastly, let's try it with FSR 2, 69% sharpness with the quality preset. 66% resolution scale. Oh my god, it's actually super soft. I'm gonna increase the sharpness right now, guys. Oh, damn it. Okay, 100% sharpness. Ugh, there's so much ghosting around moving people, dude. Look at that. Damn, and it's still not enough to, to achieve 60 frames per second in this part of the game. Holy crap, we're playing at 66%, 720p resolution. Well, at least we can reach 70 frames per second. Look in this direction, even 80 frames per second, look at that. Bumping our averages up to 60 FPS. And again, that's gonna be true in those very barren worlds without anything, with like rocks or desert, for example, and no trees, no vegetation. But yeah, in areas that are intensive, it's dropping from 60 FPS at 720p with FSR quality. My goodness. What about 80%? Looking a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, now it's looking very close to what we saw at 720p with the CAS enabled. Let's see, like, 50% resolution scale, guys. This is going to be rendering at 360p. Can we achieve 60 plus all of the time? No. <laughs> right away, it's getting 59. Are you serious? Probably gonna get a 60 average though, or uh, an average above 60 FPS, but this is now rendering the game at 360p resolution with FSR upscaling on top of it, of course. So it looks way better than native 360p, but it is such a blurry mess, especially with things moving. There is so much noise in the image, it's terrible looking. That's insane. And it even drops into the low 50s in this area. I believe with CAS enabled, sharpening at 0% and 50% resolution scale, it's gonna look even worse. Yep, look at this. Oh my god, it's soft field right now, my friends. It is not even slow field, because the FPS are okay, actually. Well, a little bit lower than they were with FSR enabled at 50%. But it is the softest field that I have ever seen, my friends. I'll leave it right there, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to watch more crap like this one. <laughs> I mean, this game has managed to turn a 1660 Ti into a GT 1030. Not too far ago, we were playing games with a 1030 at around these FPS and 360p resolution. Now it's the 1660 Ti's turn. I hope this doesn't become normal for the gaming industry. That's all I gotta say. Catch you in the next one very soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.